dashing through the snow what is up y'all what is up welcome back to my channel capri spilling the tea lifestyle tips and i wanted to come on here and talk to y'all today because today is the 7th of december and i told myself that i was going to do this video and this is like the best time to do it because i was just sitting here looking at youtube and one of my youtuber girls were going over her goals for the year and how she is so ready to make her vision board for next year and we are going into 2022 y'all like it just been 2021 but then it was just 2020 and now it's 2022 so i actually started looking over my goals after i listened to her and her goals it like really prompt me to look at my goals to see did I actually fulfill everything I wanted to fulfill? Did I succeed the way I wanted to succeed? All this good stuff like that, right? So, if you guys want to pull out your journals, your phones, whatever y'all write your goals down on, your vision board, and y'all want to check off as I check off what we fulfilled this year in 2021, then let's do it. Get your journals. Now, I know some of y'all like, girl... We still got about three more weeks until the new year. Like, we not finna do this to the last week. And I get it, but it's better to start now and check off everything and look at everything before we actually get into the new year. Because you never know. Something may pop in your mind like, ooh, I can do this before this year is over. Or I can do that, something small before the year is over. So I'm going to put on my handy dandy glasses. I didn't want it to have a blur, a blur. But I still need my glasses. I can see the good computer here and we gonna get into the goals that i had and it wasn't much i mean i'm gonna show you guys but i'm gonna put it over here somewhere but it wasn't much i still got like eight four five six no seven i i still have seven but it won't be until next year. I already know. But most of the goals that I actually had was for my home. It wasn't really like, well, no, I can't say that. But anyways, we're going to get into it. Let's let's get into it. So the first goal that I had was to get my teeth clean and fixed. So I always wanted to have like these straight, perfect, luminaire looking teeth. Now, I did go to the dentist, I think, two or three times this year. I did get my teeth clean. I got to contact them back again because I'm supposed to go to a specialist. But I did get that done, so I did do a check off. But I actually want uh, braces if I can fix them better. So at the end of the day, I still did what I said I wanted to do, and that was actually get them clean and make sure there was no um, germs or anything in them. So I did check that off. The next one was continue self-care. Y'all, your girl gets her self-care in. Like, I don't care what nobody self say. I get my self-care in. Every Friday or whenever my body just feels like I need to take a bath and light my candles. But most of the time, it's every Friday that I do this. I do my little face routine, all that. So, I did check that off because, yes, I do get my self-care in. If you are a mother, I am a mother of three and I am married. You definitely need to check in with yourself and do your self-care routine. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care them kids screaming, crying, yelling, and fighting in the background. Baby, get your self-care in. Journal thoughts and feelings. That goes along with my self-care. Now, I do want to let you guys know, if you're anything spiritual, hit the link below. Go to my Pisces Moon Goddess channel. That's more like my spiritual channel, but... With me, the way I am, I'm very emotional. I'm always in my head. I have to at least journal every single night or every other night. Now, I don't journal in a actual journal anymore. But if you do, keep on doing it. Whatever works for you, works for you. But you can get these journals. Like, I got this journal right here from uh, Family Dollar a while back. I l I'm not going to lie. I don't journal in the book anymore. I actually, like, type but these are some really, really good journals. I love the paper. This one is thankful, grateful, and blessed. And I love, 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 love the paper. But I, I still write in them, but I don't like journal in them. And the only reason why I don't, because I don't like to carry a lot of stuff with me. But 
I'll just pull out my phone and just start clicking away. Now, when I need to ground myself, I do take them with me and go outside of my backyard where all the animals are, and I do journal. So, yes, if you are anything like me, very emotional, always in your head, always got something going on up here and need to jot it down, do that. That was a goal for me this year, and I checked it off. The next one is uh, continue losing weight, y'all. I don't know exactly how much weight I lost, but I know I lost weight. These pants that I have on right now are way too big for me. My mom's like, girl, you need to hang them pants up because all you're doing is pulling them up, pulling up. Pull. I have lost some weight. Now, I'm going to be honest because y'all know this is Capri spilling the tea lifestyle tips and I am not going to lie to you. Half of the weight that I did lose was because I had things going on in my head and not saying that it was, I don't even want to say that they were positive or negative thoughts. It was just a lot going on up here. And when I get to feeling like that, I don't really eat as much as I should. I just like drink a lot of fluids, drink a lot of shakes. I'm not really hungry, hungry. Like right now, I used to get eat two of these. And this is nothing but just like a pita bread with some meat on top and some cheese. I used to get eat like two at one time. I just ate one and y'all, I'm full. And then I got my water back here. But yeah, so the weight that I lost, I'm, I'm thankful that I lost the weight. I'm not too happy the way I lost it. Like I did start it out walking with my sister and stuff like that. And I did gain some of the weight back, but I did not gain a lot. And that's, that's, that's kind of good. So I got to put my glasses on, honey. The next one was repaint closet. If you guys go back into my videos, I'm going to see if I can link it somewhere up here. My son did go into my closet and paint my closet white. Y'all know I have been doing a lot of remodeling to the home. And I wanted everything to be as white as possible only because, like I said a million times before, my ceilings are low and you don't want anything dark because it makes the house look small. You want it to brighten up a little bit. So my closet is a walk-in closet, but it's not a big closet. So yes my son did repaint my closet that was a check remodel adult bathroom i just 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 did a video on remodeling the adult bathroom y'all already know y'all already know how i felt about that bathroom i hate it i hated that bathroom but finally we are done with the bathroom i did say i was going to do a bathroom review i just need to get everything together all the footage and all that good stuff but our bathroom is also a walk-in, walk-out. The vanity is in the middle, and then it's just a shower in the uh, toilet that's inside the bathroom. But that was a big check because that is finally, finally, finally done. And I am so thankful, so grateful, so blessed. All right, then is fix up the main bathroom. So the main, I'm trying to, because he, y'all, because I'm just blind. I like, okay, anyways, fix up the main bathroom. The main bathroom was not as bad as the adult bathroom in our room, but I still did not like that main bathroom. Just like I told you guys before, it was small. I didn't like the paint. It was just, ugh. It, and honestly, the paint that I have on there now isn't too shabby either. I should have lightened it up a little bit more, but it's better than what it used to be. My sister said it looks like a spa bathroom, which is that what I was aiming for. I was looking for the spa look. I was aiming for the whole tranquility. You know, you're... I was aiming for all that. So at the end of the day, I did conquer what I wanted the bathroom to look like. So the main bathroom is finished and that was a check as well. Now getting our fence fixed. We did spend about $4,000 getting our fence fixed. You guys know that when I moved in, there was a lot of repairs that needed to be done. Also on the outside, the fence was very old, leaning in. It looked like it was raw in, so we did go through Lowe's, thanks to my mom, and we got a brand new fence. I absolutely love my fence. There's just one more side that needs to get fixed, but my husband has someone who's actually fixing that side because the man who was supposed to take the measurements the correct way, he did not take it the right way. And to be honest with you, in a way, I think it's a good thing he didn't because if he would have added that in with the fence, the fence probably would have been like $5,000. And honestly, to this day, I still don't feel like it's worth $4,000. Don't get me wrong. It looks really, really nice. But 
I only paid for two openings in the back. That's it. The sides are not even done. And it was like $4,000. But that's something that I wanted. And that is something that had to get done. So I do think the most high that that is done. And speaking of fence. Yeah, I need to call them to get that other side done. So anyways, yeah. So that was a goal. And that has been checked off. Okay, so getting a landscaper. I really wanted to get a landscaper to help with like getting my yard the way i really want my yard now if you do not know you will know today that i am a spiritualist i'm a big 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 spiritualist i am also a spiritual teacher along with running a cleaning service but when it comes down to my spiritual side my outside of my house is like buddha city okay like it's not like a whole bunch of buddhas i only got like two buddhas in the front but I wanted my house to say peace. I wanted my house to say, when you ring this doorbell, don't bring the bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to say that without it saying that, if that makes sense. So, I really wanted a landscaper to make my yard look like that. Now, the reason why I did put a check on there, because there were some trees and some stumps that needed to get lifted out of the yard. And I clicked on, yeah. We, that was the goal and we accomplished it only because that's what happened but honestly we're still not finished with the yard i am going to try to finish this yard like i'm gonna say around the spring um i want to get everything now because of course i do know if i was to purchase anything around the spring for the yard it'll be more money because that's when the collective do their yard they do it around the springtime so i really want to get everything now why it's cheap because it's winter time and of course, the companies are thinking, who's doing her yard around the wintertime? Uh, your girl here is doing her yard around the wintertime, okay? So, I did check that out because I actually do have a landscaper now. And I am so very thankful for that. So, get new glasses. Y'all already know your girl is blind. <laughs> I cannot see nothing. So, this year, I did go and get two new glasses. I actually have them here. That's a good thing. So, these are the two new glasses that I got this year. I still have my other two glasses. I think they were like coach. Yeah, they were coach. But I had those glasses for like, oh, oh my God, like eight plus years. And I just wanted new glasses. So this is one of my glasses that I have, which is I call my witchy glasses. And then this is the other ones that I have, just the out and about ones. Now, I just want to take this time to thank America's best glasses. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. This video is not sponsored. But I just want to thank America's best. And I want to thank my insurance company because Junior actually popped these glasses in half. Like he broke. I mean, he just took it and just. And they were so quick. They were so quick and so fast with getting my glasses back to me because they know that your girl is black. They know that your girl is blind, and I'm so thankful that they got it back to me. Quick, fast, in a hurry, but anywho, once again, this video is not sponsored. Best Buy, need, I said Best Buy. America's Best needs to sponsor me because I can't see. I've been wearing glasses since I was six, y'all. So, that was on my list. That was on my goal list for me to get new glasses because I wanted new glasses, and now your girl has new glasses, and I am very thankful. Mm, check, check. So, getting a new porch light. Y'all already know I talked to y'all about my fixtures. Now, y'all know I wanted new fixtures up and down this house because the fixtures that we had in this house was so not me. It was not me. So I got new fixtures all around the house. Even the porch lights are different. So I'm going to see if I can actually put a picture here, put a picture there. I'm going to go back and I'm going to see. If not, y'all just bear with me. Junior just woke up and I'm trying to get this video out here. But at the end of the day, so I got a new porch light. Because the other porch light, it was like a hanging black light and I did not like it. Like, when we purchased this house, everything was just so old-timey, I guess. Because this house was built in 1978. And the previous owners just did not give a crap about any type of decor. But I did it. I didn't like the way it hung only because I just feel like once again, like it's a, it's a smaller house. Like if it was a big grand house, then it's okay for things to be hanging, but you don't want to walk up on somebody's porch and then it, it's slapping you in the head because it's hanging. Like it did add a little bit, little bit to the house, but I'm like, mm -mm, we don't want that. Plus I'm that type of person. 
I don't like a whole bunch of colors. Like, we're going to stick with, like, two, maybe three at the most colors to our house. So, my home is actually brick, and it's a brownish, reddish, not even red. It's like a, a no, it's not red at all. It's like a dark, lightish brown, and I'm going to try to put a picture somewhere up here, and then it's, like, white. But then they have, like, a grayish, bluish look as semen. Something like that. But I'm going to show y'all a picture. But I just wanted the brown and white look. I did not want all those colors. I was just like, we not fitting to do this, right? Talk hi. Say hi, vlog. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. I was like, I did not want to have all those colors on the house. So, I told my husband. I said, we're just going to do white and brown. That is it. We're not doing all these colors. And I still have to paint my porch. But my husband is so indecisive about the cut. Well, I'm indecisive because he's like, no, we're not doing a white porch because it's going to get messed up. I'm like, I just want two colors and that's it. So right now we're just indecisive about that. But for sure, the light fixture is white. And I am going to go back and change the bulb to, I think it's an Alexa bulb. I'm going to go back and I'm going to change the bulb because when we go out of town, I need to be able to turn this bub off and on when I'm out of town. Like right now, I do have the ring lights. We have the ring light in the front and in the back is a camera. And when we go out of town, we're able to see everything. And I think that was also another one of my goals to get. I definitely wanted to get the ring because I do know that I'm going to be traveling more in 2022 and I still want to be able to know that my house is safe. Everything is good. whoop de whoop de woo So those, the porch light along with the ring was a check. Another thing that I really, really wanted was automatic locks. I really wanted automatic locks. Y'all, I haven't had keys since we moved in this house. Like, don't get me wrong. I still have my keys to the front door, but I really wanted automatic locks because let me just get quick hurry or whatever. I'm just going to get me automatic locks. I'll remember the code and then we go from there. So that's what we did. We got two automatic locks, one for the garage door and one for the back door. We have yet to get one for the front door. That's only because we do not use our front door in our neighborhood. We mostly use the garage door the open or we'll go through the side door or we'll go through the back door. So I haven't got one for the front. I'm still going to get one for the front. But at this point in time, I'm not worrying about it. <coughs> I am also supposed to be getting a new screen door, but I won't be getting a screen door like right now only because the screen door that I want is $300 and we're about to go out of town for Christmas and it just really don't make no sense. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not that type of YouTuber that can go out here and shop for screen doors and shop all this stuff and then turn around and go out of town. That ain't me. I save my coins differently. So I'm going to hold on to my $300 and go out of town. And then when we get back, then we'll go from there. But we have yet got the screen door. So that is still in the making for next year. But as for the automatic locks, that is a check. And also my office slash apothecary, which is I am in right now. This used to be my son's room. This is no longer his room, him and Junior. They share a room together, which is absolutely fine because at the end of the day, Junior was not even sleeping in his room. Junior still does not sleep in his room. So I got two twin beds, really nice beds. I put the, their room looks like um, basically a boy game room. Uh, I may, I don't know yet. I may do like a little tutorial. I may show y'all a picture. I, I don't even know yet. But at one point in time, hold on, baby. At one point in time, Junior had a brand new gray bed that his father bought for him and he never slept in the bed like never the room was just really really pretty if i can find pictures i will find it and i'll put it up here somewhere for you but he never slept in the room so it really didn't make any sense so what we did was we gave away our daughter's um bed because her bed was a queen size but it was like really really big and bulky it used to be my bed I call it the princess bed. It was so beautiful. If I have pictures, I'll show you guys. If not, then I do apologize. Hope y'all can just go off of memory when y'all seen it in the past. Or just go through my videos and you'll see it. But it was too big, too bulky. She didn't want it anymore. So we gave it to Habitat. And I think, no, my mom kept the headboard and we gave the, no, my mom kept the footboard. And then we gave the headboard to Habitat. 
And then we gave Junior bed to her, which she absolutely loved, because now she has a Paris theme. So she absolutely loved her Paris theme. And it's still a queen bed, but it's not as big and bulky as the other bed. And then she kept DJ's mattress. Or was it his box spring? I'm sorry, not his mattress. We threw away his mattress. And she kept this box spring. So she has two box springs and a mattress. So that means that she's high up off the ground. And we still have DJ's bed, which is right behind, well, right in front of me because he said he still wants his bed whenever he decides to move out i was selling it but he wants it i'm gonna keep it and that was that so the apothecary slash office i'm in it right now that was one of my goals to have because i really 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 <laughs> needed an office away from everyone and as you guys can see i'm still not away from everyone because they will open that door like i am doing nothing like and just walk up here yeah. but i really 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 needed a place where i can actually do not only just you know filming but i can do pack orders for pmg and get myself together for big deal cleaning services yeah. one moment mommy's recording <laughs> you are you, okay give me a look yeah. the things that i'm moving to next year because at this point i have Real, I have done really, really good. Like, really, really, really good when it came down to all the goals that I wanted. And I am going to say this. Shout out to the hubby because the last couple of things that I wanted done, that is when he brought his friend over, Mr. Ike, to just finish up everything that I really had on my list. So, shout out to the hubby because he did his thing when it came down to things that I wanted and needed done. And also... I wanted new floors, and we're getting new floors, and I need to add that on for next year. But new floors in the kitchen and new floors in the sitting room, but that's going to be next year's project. The back house, next year project. Um, just like I said, the screen door, next year's project. Rocks in my yard, because I do want pebbles, next year project. And getting our back house done is going to also be next year's project. Also, I want a new garage door because the one that we have now is stained. Like, we already bleached it. We did awesome. We did everything that we possibly can do. When my neighbor's across the street, I saw her husband put up his garage door by himself. But hopefully, Mr. Ike, the jack of all trades, who my husband have to work on our home, hopefully he can put up the garage door for us. But a garage door is like $327. I already priced it at Lowe's. But that's going to be next year's project as well. Also, new windows. That is like a two, three year project from now. Because at the end of the day, new windows are a lot of money. My neighbor across the street, she just got new windows. And she paid $5,000 just for one big window. So, I'm going to have to really do that like strategically plan out the money and everything because we have three windows in the front and we have i think what two uh no one two three four five six windows on the side and of course we have um about three windows in the back so we have a good bit of windows and that all together hopefully is like five thousand maybe seven thousand and we can save it but for sure, I am not worrying about these windows, honey, because I have two windows up here that I won't replace as well. So, everything that I'm moving to next year, I already told y'all, besides the windows, we're not doing that no time too soon. Because there's still good windows, but I do know we're going to need new windows soon. But I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about my goals, what I completed for 2021. You guys, I am so super super excited i'm so happy so glad so blessed so grateful that my goals for 2021 are out the way like it's like a weight lifted off of my shoulder and just like i said my husband really came through at the last minute to finish up the rest of the goals that we had i am so very thankful because at the end of the day it's like i hate having like a plan or a goal in mind and it just seemed like it's unreachable it's like you can reach it but it's like really 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 hard to reach it and it's just like okay i'll move this goal to 2023 
And then, then that time comes and then you'd be like, okay, I'll move it to 2025. I, no. So I'm so very thankful that we did get these things done. And I do want to let you guys know, just like I said, this Capri Spill in the tea lifestyle tips. I named it this for a reason. I kept it like this title for a reason. I do not have a million dollars. At this point in time right now, I only have 287 subscribers. So I'm not getting paid for doing YouTube. This is something that I'm doing because I want to do it. So it's like, we don't have a lot of money. We own two businesses and my husband still work a nine to five. So at the end of the day, we save our coins to do what we want to do and what we have to do. So just know whatever goal that you do have in mind, please, please, please make it reasonable, make it reachable, and just take your time on planning out your goals, whether you write it down, whether you put it on the computer, whether you have a... Uh, what is it called? A vision board. Just make it to the point that you can have steps on taking it. Because just like I said, I have my goals listed, but on another paper, or not another paper, but on another slide, I have like how I'm going to obtain each goal. And if you guys want a video on that, I would definitely do a video on that. But I try to do things strategically so that way my mind won't go crazy and be like, oh my goodness, like, I have this goal, but how am I going to reach this goal? Just like I said, with the windows, that is something that is going to happen whenever it happens. I'm still going to be like looking around and see who do windows, how much it is, you know, if I can use a coupon, whatever I can do. But that's not going to be like a top, top goal when I know I don't have the money for it right now. So that is that. Anyways, all hey y'all, this is Future Capri. I realized that I did not end this video the way that it should have been ended, but I just want to let you guys know that I love you guys. Thanks for sitting through this long-awaited video, and click like, subscribe, and share. Love you.